Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Christian here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're going to be talking about the new Cover FX The Perfect Highlighting Palette. And I'm also going to be pair, uh, comparing it to, I dug a deep into my archives. I pulled out every Anastasia palette that I do own. I don't own them all. I think I'm missing two in the collection of her highlighting palettes. Two, maybe three, but I have a good majority of the highlight palettes that she released. I am going to kind of compare this to those guys. I swatched this. I spent like two hours swatching, comparing, and kind of trying to find the best matches, letting you know if the highlights in this palette are dupable to the Anastasia highlighters, because those are some of my favorites. So if you're interested in seeing these swatch, my uh, first thoughts and opinions on them, then, and it is the highlighter, of course, that I am wearing on my cheeks today. I do have the shade Celestial all over my cheekbones today. And yeah, you guys, if you're interested in my thoughts and opinions on this guy, then you're definitely in the right place. And, and you are for sure going to want to go ahead and just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the package right here. It does retail for $39 and it does come with six different shades in here. The shades are, we have a Blossom, Prism, Rose Gold. Down here, we have Golden Peach. We have Celestial. And then we have Gilded right over here. And I'm hoping I'm saying that right because I'm looking at the back of it and I want to say that the names are reversed on what they actually are. I'm pretty sure. So hopefully, hopefully those are the corresponding names. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and quickly run down what you get in this particular palette. So like I mentioned, you get six highlighters and upon first glance, it's more obvious in some of the shades than in others. But it does look like in a few of them, there are little specks of micro glitter in them. One that I noticed it in mostly was the darkest shade down here, which is, which is gilded. Um, but I noticed that the more you buff it out on the skin, then those kind of, those little glitter particles definitely do go away. Unlike the, um, for example, this guy right here, the Anastasia Glow Kit from Holiday last year, when I was swatching them and comparing them and kind of looking at the different shifts, like chunky pieces of glitter were falling off of my hand from where I was doing the swatches. I did not have that experience with these guys. So don't let that throw you off. Now, one thing I will say is just by looking at it, if you do have a little bit of a fairer skin tone, the only colors that are really going to work for me as a full on highlight are probably these three shades right here. The other ones would be more of a blush topper or even a bronzer topper. But anyways, I wanted, like I mentioned, I wanted to compare them to the Anastasia Glow Kits because I know that the Anastasia Glow Kits have a huge following and a huge, you know, people just love those Glow Kits. So this comes with, again, six highlighters at three grams of product total, which gives you 0.11 ounces of product per pan. So in comparison to the Anastasia palettes, let me grab one. Oh, well, there went that guy. Oh, so I just sadly broke one. I'm a little devastated about that, but we'll keep going. I'm so crushed. So even though in the Anastasia palette, you only got four highlighters in these guys, you got 7.4 grams of product. So you're getting more than double the product in the Anastasia Glow Kits, the original Glow Kits, and each highlighter is 0.26 grams of product. So you're getting, like I mentioned, you're getting more than double of these, even though there are two less shades. Now let's move on to the Holiday Edition. I am so upset about that one being broken. It's, it's heartbreaking. The Anastasia The Glow Kit, which also comes with six shades as well, and here you're getting 4.5 grams of product at 0.16 ounces a piece. So still less than her original glow kits, but still more than the cover effects. And the same thing with her six pan palette with Nicole Guerrero. It is, the six pan palettes do have less product in them, but they are still larger and you do still get a bigger bang for your buck on this guy, on these versus this. Now the Anastasia Glow Kits, especially these two that I just pulled out, these were a limited edition and pretty much all of the ones that I'm talking about, if I'm not mistaken, are limited edition and you can no longer get your hands on them. Now the Moonchild palette is a permanent product. The Moonchild palette, you get point, you get 4.2 grams of product with six pans and 0.15 ounces of product. So in all of the Anastasia Glow Kits, at least that I own, you are getting more bang for your buck with the Anastasia Glow Kits versus the Cover FX. The Cover FX is, again, a few dollars cheaper. The Anastasia Glow Kits range anywhere from about $40 to $45, whereas this was $39. So as you can see, the packaging, it is a mirrored packaging, and it's just solid black on the back with the names of the product, with the names of each highlighter. 
so I do like the packaging but as you can already see it kind of reminds me on the front of a more Becca style packaging I was going to compare this to Becca highlighters as well but then I was like no 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 I cannot do that it's too much but if you want to see a separate video comparing these to some Becca highlighters let me know down below and I'll do that for you I'm going to go ahead and swatch them individually so you can kind of see what they look like swatched and then I'm going to go ahead and show you what I found to be dupable or similar shades not all of them were exact but they were like on the cheekbones I feel like they would be a pretty similar match to the Anastasia Glow Kit. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and swatch these individually and then we'll go into more of the dupe or similar colors that are in the Anastasia Glow Kits. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into, I don't even really wanna call them dupes because for most of these shades, I could not find exact dupes in the Anastasia kits that I do own. And let me really quickly tell you what Anastasia kits I own. I own the Glow Kit, the Nicole Guerrero X Anastasia. I own the That Glow Kit. I own the Moonchild, the Gleam. And I also own Sun Dipped. And like I'm missing two, I know for sure I'm missing the Sweets and the Aurora palette. I know for sure I don't have those. And I think those are the only two I'm missing. So again, out of the ones I have, these are the closest color comparisons that I can find. So in some of them, the undertone might be a little bit different. One might be darker or lighter than the other. But on the cheekbones and sheared out, I feel like they would give a pretty similar look on the skin. Now, one thing I will say is the one that I did find a pretty exact dupe for was Celestial. And then one that I could not find a dupe for, at least in my collection, was Prism. I noticed that everything was either too green, too light, too blue, too purple, or too white. Nothing matched this undertone exactly right, so I don't have a dupe. But with all that being said, this is pretty unique and different from the colors that are in the Anastasia kits. With that being said, though, you can get similar looks, especially when they are a little bit more sheared out because of course just with a finger swatch, the colors are going to be a lot more concentrated than they would be on your cheeks. I tried to find shades that are in the same color family. Maybe one might be a little bit darker, one might be a little bit lighter. I tried to keep it as close as humanly possible. So we're going to start with the shade Blossom, which is this guy right here, the one that I've damaged. And on the swatches, the cover effects is gonna be the first color swatched and then and then the Anastasia one will be the second one swatched. The one that I found closest to Blossom was, was in the Gleam Kit and the shade was Hard Candy. That was the one that I found to be, out of all of the ones I swatched, the most similar. Again, not an exact dupe. I already spoke about Prism, which is this guy right here. I could not find anything similar or anything dupable. Now the colors that I did think would possibly be similar, Lucky Clover in the Moonshot palette, but Lucky Clover was too green. Blue Ice had too much of a purpley blue shift. And then I thought maybe Forever Lit from the Anastasia Nicole could be similar, but Forever Lit was a little bit too icy. The next shade I'm gonna move on to is Golden Peach, which is this guy right here. The most similar shade that I could find in my Anastasia collection was in the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, and that one was the shade Daydream, which is this one right here. And then like I mentioned, Celestial was the one that I could find the actual dupe for from the cover effects. So this is Celestial in the cover effects. And there were two that I found that were pretty similar. The first one was from the Nicole Guerrero, which was Forever Lit which is the first one that I'll swatch in the video after the cover effects, of course. And then, and then Starburst from Gleam was also a pretty similar shade as well. And then the last one was the more bronzy shade, which is Gilded. The most similar one I could find was in the Sun Dip palette and it was the shade Bronze. All of the other ones, especially I thought that I was definitely gonna be able to find dupes out of this guy. 
but all of the shades in here were a little too golden. They weren't bronzy enough to match the undertone in this guy. And even the shade that I picked out wasn't an exact dupe, but again, it was the closest one that I could find in the collection. And I think I skipped rose gold. Did I skip rose gold? Let me back up. I think I skipped rose gold. So we have rose gold here. The Gleam palette, the first is the closest one that I could find was Mimosa right here. And in the That Glow palette, the most similar one I could find was Bubbly. All in all, I do really like this Cover FX highlighting palette. I do prefer to spend, I will say that I would prefer to spend the extra couple of dollars and then just get one of the Anastasia Glow Kits because you do get more product in there for just a couple of dollars more. However, I think that the formulation of these are really nice. I think they have the right amount of pigment. A couple of them look like they have little specks of micro glitter, but that doesn't really translate on to the cheekbones in my opinion. So if you are a little bit fairer in skin tone, this might not be the best option for you because you might be able to get away with two out of the four. Like so Prism and Celestial here in the center would work for fairer skin tones. If you have a medium skin tone, I would definitely say that this highlighting palette would work really great for you. If you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, you would probably run into the same problem as somebody who has a really fairer skin tone. But that works the same way with most highlighting, highlighting palettes. So like for example, I just grabbed this one from my Anastasia highlighting palette because it was right on top. The two that I can wear are Moonstone and Summer. And these other two are a little bit too dark for me. So it just boils down to, you know, would you rather have a palette of highlighters for everything or would you rather just buy a single highlighter for a couple of dollars more and have that one shade that you know you're gonna love. I personally love highlighting palettes. I think that I have more than I'll ever need, but for some reason I just can't, I can't stop. And I was super curious about this guy. Um, I do think that they are, they're just softer versions of their liquid, more chromey highlighters. So if those are maybe a little bit too intense for you, a little too much for you, this would be a good option, especially if you like some of those color ranges. Um, but all in all, I think that this is a really good palette. I think it is perfect for holiday. I think that, I mean, for, for the only one, again, that I said that swatched a little on the iffy side was the shade Prism in the center here. All the rest of them swatched beautifully. All of the rest of them had the perfect amount of shine, the perfect amount of glisten. They didn't look too powdery. They didn't look too cakey on the top of the cheekbones. I noticed that I don't have any issues with my texture being overly em emphasized or anything like that. So again, I do think that the Anastasia Glow Kits are a better values for what you actually get, but I do like the packaging of this. I do like the color selection in here, and I do see myself getting a lot of use out of this. Now, the one thing I couldn't figure out, I spent a couple minutes playing with it, and I'm not 100% sure, so you let me know down below. I tried to get these out to see if they you could depot them, but I personally couldn't figure out how to get them out of the packaging or if they're able to be depotted. If you're interested in this, this definitely does have my stamp of approval. I think they're super beautiful on the cheekbones. And while some of the shades were comparable to the Anastasia Glow Kits and some of them would have looked super similar on the cheekbones, they were close enough dupes to where if you miss out, if you missed out on any of these limited edition Anastasia Glow Kits and you're kicking yourself, you can probably find and some similar colors in the cover of X or even, you know, Huda Beauty. There's so many highlighting palettes on the market and I feel like you probably could find some similar ones if you hopped over into the Becca range and things like that, but I wanted to keep it specifically Glow Kit and go for Anastasia. Like I mentioned down below, if you would be curious about how it stacks up to Becca, let me know down below. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you head out and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!